Okay. You marry me Chingo, you carry Cardi B go vacation. Why? What if Cardi B right. is another form of Messi Chingo? And what if Messi Chingo is another so form of Sensational gospel singer Messi Chingo is not letting anyone stay a white in the entertainment industry this year. To prove a solid point, the excess love hitmaker has slammed Afrobeat singer OBDs with a 2 billion naira defamation lawsuit for using a character in a derogatory and defamatory way in his song and music video, which a legal team termed worldly. In February of 2023, the hip-hop artist released a song titled Messi Chingwu, further citing an example of a wayward club girl. Obidis used American rapper Cardi B and also Messi Chinwo as an example, talking about a wayward girl who is both a good girl and a bad girl. Making matters worse, since the song went live, the upcoming singer has been using Messi Chinwo's image to promote the song on his social platforms, which has also sparked lots of conversation. The latest was in Nedu Wazubia's podcast with The Honest Bunch, where they debated marrying a Messi Chingwu or going on vacation with American rapper Cardi B. As a distinguished gospel artist who has made a name for herself, releasing back-to-back spirit-filled Christian music, Messi Chingwu doesn't seem pleased about a name and image being used in such a manner. Wasting no time, the 31-year-old newly married music minister fired back through her team of lawyers in a cease and desist letter. The pastor's wife, also known as Mrs. Blessed, demanded that the song titled Messi Chingwu be taken down from all digital music platforms and that the singer, Obidis, write a public letter of apology for the defamation of character and unauthorized use of her name or pay 2 billion naira in damages. Shockingly, the erring singer Obidis has reacted and doesn't seem bothered about Messi Chinwo's 2 billion naira lawsuit. Will Messi Chinwo eventually go for that to make this upcoming singer pay 2 billion naira for defamation of character or risk going to jail? <laughs> Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. Talented gospel singer Messi Chinwu may be a cool, calm and collected artist, but she has become a no-nonsense music minister recently. Of course, from the get-go, the Nayu de Rain Kruna shuns all forms of controversy and scandal on the internet, always minding her business and making godly music that lifts the souls of millions of people. Before you ask how we know this, music superstar Davido once lauded the 31 year old songstress for being a fantastic singer and making songs that lifts his soul and helps him connect to Jesus. But this has not always implied that social media trolls and even gossip blogs didn't come to play in a backyard. Over the years, the singer has matched disrespect with radio silence and matched attacks on her career by looking the other way. However, since the excess love crooner got married in August 2022, it looks like she has entered a new era where she doesn't take nonsense from anyone and does something about it. We all saw this in November 2022 when Messi Chimo parted ways with Easy Concepts, her record label of many years, allegedly over a contract disagreement with the owner of the record label. Around this time, the gospel singer shared a cryptic message on her Instagram page about being genuine with people who are only out to rip them. God protects us from people who are being strategic with us while we are being genuine with them, she wrote. Since then, Messi Chin has moved on without looking back. First, she unfollowed Minister GUC on Instagram months after she unfollowed Chidia Ekile, a signee of Easy Concepts. The singers are not only signees of Easy Concepts, but also close friends who performed at each other's weddings. In a cryptic post, Minister GUC hinted that Messi Chinwo is ungrateful. Secondly, Messi Chinwo has joined a new record label, GNT Nation, and recently released a new single, Confidence, under this label. On the heels of the Messi Chinwo rebrand of taking no nonsense from anyone, one upcoming singer, Obi Lawson, better known as Obidis, stepped on her toes on February of 2023 when he released an Afrobeat song titled Messi Chinwo. In the song, the spectacular hip hop artist talked about a good girl who is also bad, using Messi Chinwo as an example of a good girl and American rapper Cardi B as an example of a wayward girl. 
She dey share me the cake, but she no one commit. Messi chinwo for church, but for club na kadibi set. He sang in one line of this song. As if that wasn't enough, the singer has been using Messi Chinwo pictures to further promote the music, which has garnered over 500,000 streams on all platforms. In one of his posts on Instagram, he shared photos of Messi Chinwo and Cardi B side by side and asked in the caption, Imagine you can only pick one as a wife for life and God will grant you your heart's desire. Who are you picking? Of course, this sparked many social media debates and made it to Nedu Wazobia podcast with the honest bunch. Why you just say guy go to date girl for five years? He go meet one girl in space of two, three months. He don't marry. Bam! He don't marry the girl. But when he wants because to cheat, eh? when he wants to cheat, he will go back to the Yes, now, why? because why? you don't get why? this why? way. Why? 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 But you don't get some things where why? you don't You marry me a situation where you carry Kadibi go vacation. Why? What if Kadibi right. is another form of Messi Chingo? And what if Messi Chingo is another so form of So why you not marry Kadibi? Messi Chingo for church. For someone who is in a no-nonsense era, the winner of Nigerian Idol Season 3 has clapped back at the singer for using a name in such a manner. In a letter, the Excess Love Crooners team of lawyers headed by Pelumi Olajengbesi issued a case demanding that the song titled Messi Chingwo as well as the video be taken down from all digital music platforms. The singer argued that OBDs used a name and image derogatorily and defamatorily in his song and music video. The legal team further ordered OBDs to make a public apology letter to Messi Chinwo. The upcoming singer will publish the apology on all social media platforms where he retracts and expresses remorse for the defamation of character and unauthorized use of Messi Chinwo's name. Else, he risks being dragged to court in a 2 billion naira lawsuit. Also, OBDs is to desist from further use of Messi Chinwo's name and image. Since the Nayu de Rain Kruna slammed OBDs with a 2 billion naira lawsuit, many Nigerians have reacted. One wrote on Instagram, You all always downplay gospel artists anyhow and think they will let it off cause Christians are soft blah blah blah. This is an insult to the brand Messi Chinwo. Another user wrote, Dope jam jaw, but where you want see to be like this? My bro, update me I beg if you don't sop. One wrote, for God's sake, this is disrespectful, bro. She's a gospel artist and a wife to a pastor. You went too far on this. Anyway, last last, with your two Billy, everybody go deal right. Another one wrote, he never talked down on her name. He said he wants a girl like Messi Chinwo in holiness, but the girl should have SEX appeal like Cardi B. Another user commented, so funny how he had to use Messi Chingwo's name to blow and it still didn't blow until she sued him. Surprisingly, the same lawsuit that got Israel DMW begging, prostrating and crying in a pink towel has not moved OBDs, not even an inch. The upcoming singer has refused to take down the song and video using Messi Chingwo's name and image from all streaming platforms and social media pages. On Twitter, the Afrobeat artist also reacted to the threat by Messi Chingwo filing a 2 billion naira lawsuit against him for defamation. In a tweet, he said, Na song I sing and no keep a sin. Messi Chingwo for church who, but for club na kadibi set, talks about a girl I met. Na she a sing about, but na won't crucify me. On the other side, legal pundits have begun to analyze whether Messi Chingwo has a case. Some claim she does, while others claim OBDs may not have infringed the gospel singer's copyright. Apart from not sampling any of her songs, they claim that Messi Chinwo may not have trademarked a name or be the copyright owner of the photographs and videos used in the song. However, the excess love crooner may or may not have a case for defamation as the Afrobeat singer used a name in a circular song. Hmm. So here we ask again, would Messi Chinwo take this case further or will she eventually go easy on the upcoming singer? As an artist trying to make it, Will OBDs be able to cough out 2 billion naira at this time? Looking at the matter closely, does Messi Chinwo really have a case with defamation? Lastly, who will win this case? I go by the name OBDs, well as it be, you know the loss in the piece about- Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.